Hi, this is Wagner Attorney Stuart Erickson. Today we're going to talk about uh, evidence in a criminal case to the extent of what if the state of Oklahoma and law enforcement and their investigators find evidence that might be favorable to the defense or, or somewhat weaken uh, their case. Now, this all started in the 1960s and, and after, as you know, many, many Supreme Court cases have come down discussing all of these issues related to criminal defense and constitutionality. And so today, as it stands, the, uh, the state of Oklahoma or whatever prosecuting entity would have a duty to turn over what's called exculpatory evidence or evidence that might uh, tend to exonerate the defendant. So, you know, when law enforcement does their investigations, they, they, uh, conduct interviews, they do forensic evidence, uh, photographic evidence, uh, maybe ballistics evidence, all these sorts of things. And ultimately, you know, once they do that, uh, if there's a, a witness that perhaps doesn't help them but would, but would help the defendant, they still have to turn that over to the defense. If a ballistics report or a fingerprint comes back uh, that's not favorable to the state, but perhaps exculpatory or, or favorable towards the defendant, they have a duty to turn that over. So that, that, that can't be withheld. Uh, and so that is a duty that is very important. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that law enforcement does the defense's job. Obviously, just getting the information uh, is, all, is their only responsibility. You would need a defense attorney to see how does this exculpatory type uh, evidence fit into the whole defense of the case? How does it counteract what the state uh, is trying to present in their prosecution of you? Uh, but obviously having all of the information that, that, that law enforcement uh, brings up is obviously going to be helpful to the defense because obviously you have a right to know the nature of the charges against you and the witnesses that can testify against you uh, and to have all of their statements uh, and all of the evidence against you. So it is the duty of the state to uh, turn that evidence over. And in Oklahoma, you know, we follow a certain discovery code by law, and then courts have their own kind of systems leading up to trials uh, to facilitate and to make sure that discovery, uh, which is to say police reports, uh, you know, witness statements, and all that stuff is, has been uh, given back and forth between the, the state to the defense attorney and the defense attorney to the state. Uh, and that's usually uh, done before any trial uh, is conducted. And if there's issues, you know, the defense attorney will raise it. So we don't have everything, have everything from the state. We're not, we're not ready for trial uh, because they've not turned everything over to us. We know they've sent reports off to OSBI uh, for fingerprinting or ballistics, and those reports are not done. I do not have those, uh, and we are not going to begin trial till we have all that stuff. So all of these are potential battles uh, that are to be had in court. But, again, going back originally, uh, the states do now have uh, – uh, law enforcement in the state do have to turn over so-called exculpatory evidence. So if you have questions about that, reach out to me, Stuart Erickson at wagnerlawyer.com. Thanks.